Yeah, so for me, I was really inspired by Father Kino. Um, I think more than anything, the fact that he decided to be a missionary and he was on his conquest to go to Mexico, but never made it to Mexico, ended up in Arizona. Um, I just think that, I think that's really cool the way that God kind of takes you where he has you to go, not where you necessarily always think you're going. Um, I was super inspired by the fact that, you know, he connected with the, the people that were there, the, the Native Americans that were there at the time. And um, just, he, I think that I read something along the lines of, you know, he led, or he baptized over 3,000 people. So I thought that was really cool. What I am currently working in is collage. And basically, I am just finding a bunch of pictures and cutting them up and then making something new. So I get a lot of stuff from thrift stores. Um, Bookman's is kind of nice. It's a little pricey sometimes, but yard sales. And I just get old magazines and old books and I just cut them up and rearrange stuff. And for me, it's definitely like a really fun way to kind of be creative in the sense that you just have to put things together and you kind of move things around and see how it works. And it can look a little weird. And <laughs> sometimes it's, it's just a little out there, but I like that because I think it really um, inspires thought. And that's, um, so with this picture here, I had a really colorful background and I just did layers of different um, rocks, <laughs> parts of the desert. I like this here because there was um, even the desert when it's in the winter and it's sometimes cold and once in a while it snows. And I put just the, the church here because I just felt like um, Father Kino really brought, he brought the gospel and, and shared it with the people that were living in this region. I put the butterflies, uh, I love butterflies, I think I always will because it's just so much about um, transition and growth and metamorphosis, if you will. I know that's really literal, but I, I like what that represents. And the planets and all this here is just just reminding us like how big our world is and how how small and fragile we really are, but how beautiful creation is and how beautiful life is. And I think that's kind of why I put some flowers in it as well, because it's just a reminder that um, life is beautiful and relationship with Jesus is absolutely beautiful. So that was kind of my my perspective on Father Kino. Um, for me, I feel like one of the most impactful things about the story of Father Kino was just that he, he just used what he had. Um, he was into like mapping and exploring and he was a rancher so he knew how to grow crops and make food from wheat. And that's what he like taught the, the native people that he came in contact with. And I think a lot of times as Christians, we feel like um, for us to be significant, we have to be like preaching to the masses or leading some huge ministry or something like that. But God just calls us to steward what we have and what he's put in front of us. So if you, you know, have a desire to see fathers restored to the children and the, the sons to the fathers. It's like, go be a father. You know, if you have a desire to lead people to Christ, go talk to people. What my prayer in my own life and for Tucson would be is to just take what is in front of you and just to, to steward that well. I pray that people in Tucson would learn how to really invest in people and invest in community and in relationship, and um, just to slow down and stop for the person that's in front of them. There's so many opportunities. There's so much opportunity to see people on the streets, people in the stores, people in the job, you know, in our marketplace, whatever it may be. There's opportunity everywhere, and I think when we can really see that and open our eyes up to what's already right in front of us and what we can do, I feel God will really, really bless it and it will be fruitful and multiply. I feel really inspired by just the entire, like, the mission or whatever, the, the theme of what we're doing. I think 
you know, when we say like Christian art, it's Christians who make art, you know, and it's, it doesn't have to be in a box of what it should or shouldn't look like, but it's an expression of creativity. He's a creator and we're all called to create and it's, we do it in different ways. So I felt really encouraged by the fact that there is people in Tucson who want to see that and want to see expression and the church really stepping into a place of freedom and stepping into a place of our own identity of creativity, not a copy of what the world's doing or not an imitation of what everyone else has already done. So I feel really encouraged by that too, that there are a lot of people wanting to come together and unite the body, all the different denominations, and just say, we're going to gather around our city. We love our city and um, we want to see God just rock it. So I feel super encouraged by this whole mission and I'm excited for the show.